Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So I'm going to do Aquarius for 8 to 14 of June. Let's see what are the messages for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general reading. So whatever resonates, take it. What does not leave it. And I also do white prayer based spells and personal readings. Other remedies are also available. I also send you charged crystals if you're interested. You can reach out to me and stay connected with me on my Instagram for major updates, feedbacks, daily dose of free horoscopes. Um and other offers so do follow me on my instagram to stay connected and also subscribe to my channel for more signs for more uh, videos on your signs okay let's see the messages for you do not forget to subscribe and hit like in the end of this video Ace of Cups, the Moon, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Ooh. So there's a new energy that's coming into your life. I'm seeing that there's someone. Okay, there could be an energy of someone missing you from the past. All right. And this could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. That, that feels like they did a wrong thing by letting you go. And I feel like they want another chance. I'm feeling like there's someone that clearly wants another chance here, Aquarius. Um, Pisces energy possible. Aries, Sagittarius. Love. I feel like there's a lot of things that they want to say and clear with you. Because their emotions are not very stable right now. Whereas you, on the other hand, Aquarius, have come out of the situation and have become very, very stable. You are in that place where you are extremely stable and you really do not need this person. Okay. But I feel like this person is just immensely impressed by your growth and how you are, you know, doing so well in your life and you are prospering. And this person wants to be a part of your life. And when you are prospering, they have started to realize what they did to you was something that you never deserved. Okay. You don't deserve it. And this person realizes it. Somewhere they have understood that they are feeling also guilty and they are missing out missing you out in their life and i feel like they're also falling in love somewhere on those lines i'm seeing okay let me see more to this the fool the nine of cups the wow eight of wands and the uh eight of uh, pentacles this could be a strong pisces energy that's wanting to work hard on this connection they want to try strongly towards you they want to come very strongly towards you and this time i feel like they know that it's a risk and there must be no outcome to it because you've moved on but i feel like this person is like oh i really want to try okay i really want to give it one shot now i'm going to put my hundred percent into it they're using they're doing they're behaving in such a way as if it's an exam that they have to pass okay that's how important it has become for this person to pursue you. So you're like their major wish fulfillment and they cannot just survive without you. That's how they're acting like, behaving like. And I feel like there's immense passion towards you and this person is ready to work anything to have you back in, in their life. Or this could be someone that has just come into your life but didn't take you seriously in the beginning and now understood and wants you for something solid. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, I feel like there's a lot of passion, there's a communication coming in, there's, they're going to be making an effective communication, maybe they're going to talk about their feelings to you, they're going to express their love for you, they're going to tell you how much you make this person feel so good about themselves and life in general. The High Priestess uh, and the Tower, ooh, I feel like this is your energy, Aquarius, I'm feeling like there's a strong energy of Pisces around you, or fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo or this is a conjunct okay where this person has the fire and the Pisces energy very strongly together mixed so what I'm seeing over here is that this person wants to break free from the pattern of on and off okay with you and wants to right now change their way of you know being single or they have been like that in the past with other uh lovers love interests they were not very consistent they were not even serious about any relationship but now i feel like they've had a sudden realization where they feel like no more games 
they don't want that anymore they just want some as if you've given them a spiritual insight okay as if they've understood more about spirituality naturally by meeting you so this person is like had a sudden realization that there's something more to the world it's not always materialistic it's not always about um you know outer aspects it's more about deep aspects inner aspects your heart is beautiful and this person misses that out i feel like right now they're acting very moody and they're very stressed out and angry and hitting things here and there because what they did they know that they didn't do it right and i feel like energetically you're crossing their mind every now and then every now and then and then we have five of swords and the nine of uh, pentacles i think that you know this person is going through this okay and there's some sort of a vibe you're getting from this person that they're missing you okay and i feel like this is why it's making you feel more comfortable because what they did to you they deserve it okay that's how you feel or you're like okay the one who doesn't deserve me at my bad or at my worst doesn't deserve me at my best that's what your energy is right now so Aquarius, you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm moving on. I don't care about this person. Whatever they can do, they can just bang their head on the wall. They can hit the rock. Whatever they have to do, they can. Okay, that's your energy. You're like just simply loving life. You're accepting things uh, however they are and moving forward. And I feel like you've almost passed or crossed the barrier where you guys were stuck with this person and you don't really care about this person anymore and i feel like this person also has an energy or feeling of that of the thing that you really do not care about them okay that's how they're feeling okay my gosh so what they feel is that aquarius is no more the same person that's how they're saying or they're acting selfish that's how they might be blaming you not really but i feel like somewhere they're like angry because they feel like you're you're you know playing games but you're actually not playing games what you're doing is just protecting your heart moving forward because you are right now in the energy of manifestation and you don't want to you know uh, spoil everything because of this person you're being more practical in life three of cups you might be talking to new people in your life and i feel like your center of attraction right now and there are a lot of people that are taking interest in you and getting closer to you wants to get to know you more and the star energy is like you're coming out shining off much brighter than before you're like a star you you know wherever you go you stand out and people look at you and want to be like you somewhere you're an inspiration to the people you might be a very well known personality you're on social media or you're a business person you have a lot of clients leads you're a manager you're taking care of your responsibilities like extraordinarily well so i'm feeling like you're also seen as someone who's very special and deserves much more than what you got i'm also seeing a lot of emotional uh, balances are coming into your life friendships are becoming stronger feeling more you know healed so i'm seeing like more of a healing energy to you aquarius this is your energy i'm feeling I'm feeling like you're very much in your own power, feeling very strong, feeling very powerful. I'm also seeing another Aquarius or a Leo coming in, but I feel like there's a new person that could be an Aquarius or a Leo that wants your attention, that wants your love and is taking a lot of interest in you and they feel like you're their soulmate and you're the one they were looking for or you're the new beginning in their life and they're so happy that they're not leaving you alone. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person is very loving, caring, respectful towards you wants to be there for you in the tough times i feel like you're attracting someone that's a noble soul and that really help have a uh you know a knack of helping people that's the person that you're attracting virgo taurus capricorn possibly a libra um yeah i'm feeling like some sort of help they will be providing you that really touches your heart and attracts you towards this person okay so and we have empress this could be a cancer person strong cancer energy coming in someone who has their own uh, you know um place okay someone at a higher position someone who's extremely established this could be a person um that is at a very senior position right i feel like they have a leadership quality and they match with you I feel like that's the person that's coming towards you. Now, feel when they see you, you'll be like their marriage material, someone that they feel they can get married to. The hangman, 
the seven of wands and the page of wands now why do i get this let me just clarify okay the empress and the chariot is someone that's extremely stable and comfortable and a successful person maybe this person has their home business or a very successful business like that um that is coming towards you and you like kind of give this person a challenge and that's like an adrenaline to this person because you're like oh my gosh this person is something else they're not impressed by my you know my things or whatever i have they're not very impressed with me like i have to do something else to impress this person that's how they feel i have to do something else to impress this aquarius i have to do something spiritual to attract this person You've already forgotten, have, and so have I forgotten about your past. While I was starting the reading, we have Queen of Pentacles, then we have Four of Wands, and then we have Nine of Swords and the World Reverse. Okay, so in the bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups. Somewhere I feel like if you just allow the past person to come into your life, it will try to hinder your um, mental you know uh, vision it will try to block your path or it will try to block you from starting a new beginning or having a new beginning because you're definitely moving towards a new beginning with the queen of pentacles and a four of wands is like you're moving towards a relationship the empress is also telling me that you have a strong possibility of a marriage offer that's coming in but yes Either you're still thinking about the past that's blocking you or actually there will be a visit of the past person that's going to stop you from moving forward and keep you in a stuck energy. If you just, you know, blow this person off and get over this shit, then you're definitely going to be attracting or being in a new relationship that you always deserved. Okay, that's a very strong message that I'm getting here. Queen of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups reverse, and the Temperance reverse. So what I'm seeing over here is that your emotions might draw you down. Your emotions might take you down because somewhere I feel like the emotions are still with the past person or with someone that comes back and may try to overpower you emotionally and you may lose everything at once. So you have to be very careful about not falling in love back to the same old person, okay? But whatever, how much they convince you, it doesn't matter. But I feel like whatever you've gained, you might lose all of this, okay? You might lose a good marriage proposal. You might lose uh, your track uh, on your career and you might lose money and you may become unhealed or you may become heartbroken again. So that will become really tedious for you if you again fall into this trap because I feel like the person that you're attracting is full of trap and shit. The one, the past person I'm talking about because there's someone new that is really, really wanting your attention and wants you to focus on them could be a Sagittarius is coming in I feel like it will take time for you to fall in love with this new person even though you're open to options but somewhere I feel like it's difficult for you to jump from one person to another to switch from one person to another in terms of falling in love right but however I feel like um the king of swords and the ace of wands and the knight of pentacles and the king of sea king of pentacles so definitely there's someone from the past is still trying to break your energy and pull you down okay and this is a very very strong message like literally very strong message that there's someone that is like trying to push you down and i feel like this person wants to still you know want you under their control so that is why i'm seeing like this person maybe is having a strong sexual urge towards you and that is why they don't want to lose you this past person okay and they're crying over you and once this is done they'll be like forgetting you again and then going into the cycle of on and off right so this could be another libra gemini aquarius or aries sagittarius Leo. but i feel like there's a lot of fire in this person this person gets angry very soon okay and they might also use cuss words which you won't like so here i feel like you have to be careful about this kind of a person because it's someone that is coming in with a lot of um, stability 
and they'll be very consistent they'll give you that space and time to you know uh, enjoy life and express yourself they want you to be happy so that's the person that's coming for you and i feel like you have to switch as soon as possible from the person that you're still lingering on or expecting the reading about to the new person that's either has yet come into your life or is about to and this is your potential soulmate because i see king of pentacles and queen of pentacles together here all right that's the message for you guys and that's a very strong message so be careful about this thing that the one that you have right now should be uh, your center of attention not the one that you had feelings for or you still have some feelings for because that person from the past will try and shift your energy and pull you down because this person cannot see you being happy because they are not happy official person the community i feel like the one that is coming into your life is someone who is from your community okay maybe in your neighborhood somewhere through that or this is someone at your with your within your religion your system okay and i feel like they will be actually courting you okay there's a lot of dating going on i see a lot of 444 is your stability number and uh, that's an indication that this person is coming for you this could be someone at a high position as i told you it's an emperor energy but very stable and calm and relaxed male or female doesn't matter but that's the energy that's going to bring a lot of calmness and feeling of grounded and groundedness in your life aquarius forgiving and learning let your friends help you calling in your soulmate engagement and make the effort all right right now because this was coming kind of reversed i feel like efforts is required and efforts of forgiving the person and forgetting the person letting it go and not trying to you know fix things or you know trying to get answers regarding the person let it be and i feel like yes your friendship through your friendships or your friend circle i feel you're going to end up with your soulmate there's going to be a major shift and you will be getting engaged soon what else about my aquarians remain positive you're going to be recovered really soon if you're not feeling good it is important for you to meditate all those who are feeling good great all those who are still in that energy i feel like it's time to recover and feel good and feel happy about yourself because and also meditation will really help you come out of the situation faster and have a clear vision about what is not going right in your life and how and what action must you take to be happy queries only time will tell so if you're trying to find out too many answers or you have too many questions in your mind and you're like i'm not getting what i should do and what is the best thing to do have patience and meditate because time at the right time you will get the answers you will be healed you will be with the right person because right now you're indecisive right now you're confused you might be in the crossroads maybe dealing with two people and don't know what to do so here i feel there's time to relax that's it don't do anything what does the animal spirit want to say to you this one is my favorite okay scarab beetle spirit magic works through you so everything that you want is inside of you not outside okay look inside what else let me check more about my queries yoga see yoga or meditation is going to keep you aligned i emphasize on meditation and yoga a lot even if you're feeling great about yourself meditation and yoga are just another level thing okay again i'm feeling like it's more of talking about spiritual activities like meditation or yoga that's going to keep you feel uh feeling fresh and free and more confident about yourself in life
All right, Aquarius. Star seed. Ooh, uh, some of your star seed over here. I feel like you have a purpose to, you know, fulfill. Just look into the uh, wiki and check out more about star seed because somewhere I feel like you feel out of this world or disconnected because you feel like there's something uh, there's a mission that you need to complete and uh, there's a particular thing that attracts you not everything that attracts you in your life purpose and you have to figure that out and definitely I feel like you're meant to have breakthrough in your career field okay you're meant for that what else? Well, yes. All right. Woman holding a heart. Soon you're going to be in love. Okay. I feel like you're very much in love right now with someone. And again, you can see the 44 number, which is telling me that you're going to stay, feel more stable and in love with yourself. Okay. Right now. You are Aquarius. Please. Embrace. So you're definitely embracing your negative and positive qualities and aligning yourself in one direction. Manifesting new, something new. Luck is on your side. So you're definitely going to get lucky and uh, something in, in some endeavor you're going to be lucky. It all depends upon how much focus do you put in one thing. If you want something, put all your focus into it. Put all the balls in one court and then see the results. Then you will see the ultimate result happening to you. This could be a Scorpio that you'll be dealing with. There's a very strong energy of Scorpio that you're dealing with in this uh, week. Uh, Gemini and Capricorn. All right. I'm also seeing renewal because this is a Scorpio card. And then now let's see from uh, Aries to Pisces person's energy towards you in this week Aries to Pisces all right the magician and the eight of wands in reverse I feel like this person may be acting hard to get okay the Aries is acting hard to get even though they want you they're resisting it okay they want you to reach out to this person then we have Taurus Taurus has been thinking a lot about you but keeping it to themselves Gemini is uh, right now being too lazy and I feel like they have a lot going on in their mind but they're not taking action they want some space and they are relaxing more Cancer is uh, actually highly impressed and is getting attracted to you and may reach out to you to ask you out Leo is feeling like things are not very balanced. Either you're much better than them or they feel like they are much better than you. So something I feel like they're trying to balance things out before they can reach out. Virgo is in love with you. And then we have the Libra that is uh, trying to weigh the pros and cons. I feel like they want their own time where they can just intuitively try to see whether they connect with you on a deeper level or not they're trying to connect with you they're trying to find a spiritual connection here already and we have scorpio scorpio is thinking about a possible commitment here but they really want to you know try to get to know you more deeply before they can reach out to a conclusion i'm also seeing that this person is more worried about their income Sagittarius is in crossroads. I feel like they have a decision to make. So they're going to be taking time when they reach out to you, but they're watching you. And we have Capricorn. Capricorn wants to change things for good. They want to come towards you for a more, uh, with a more stronger, uh, you know, energy. Then we have Aquarius, Eight of Swords, Reverse. King of Cups. This could be your energy, someone you're missing out trying to come out of. Or this person has actually still fallen in love and wants to come out of this energy. And, you know, they had some grudges with, you know, I feel like they want to fix things and they want to come towards you with a new beginning and want to fall in love with you and this or that. This is how they're thinking. So they're trying to release the old uh, misunderstandings or, you know, fights or if they've blocked you, they want to unblock you because they've fallen in love. 
Pisces. Pisces is kind of spying on you, stalking on you, might be talking about you. And this person is trying to get more information through third parties about you. This person is highly interested but is overly thinking about you. Somewhere they might not come off as a nice one. And I feel like right now they may be keeping you in no contact. Uh, situation which makes you feel like this person's not interested but whereas deep down they're right now kind of doing it like a test which is not cool but then I feel like they have their own mindset so they're trying to like uh, get to know more deep about your history okay that is also what I'm seeing so that's it Aquarius I hope you've enjoy enjoyed it <laughs> So do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. Till then I will see you next time with more videos like this. Bye-bye.